Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I have decided to do a pick a card reading. Uh, this was a spur of the moment thing. I was in the car, and this one came up. I was in the car, and I was on my way home, and I, and I thought, <laughs> you should do a pick a card reading. <laughs> so here we are. So this is what we're going to do. This question is in regards to your love life, of course, because we know how I like to focus on your love life. Um, the question is, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? And maybe you can get insight on how to handle this situation. Now, I'm really feeling like this is something, you know, maybe there's been no contact for a while. Maybe there's been some sort of issue, uh, a breakup, um, a fight. Um, a dilemma, okay, there's a dilemma there, that somebody has been involved with in regards to a person that they love, okay? It's like, you know you love this person, but we're having an issue, and I'm not sure how I should handle it. Should I stay? Should I stay um, holding on to this person, or should I move on? Should I move on? Is it really? Is it time for me to give up and move on? Or should I or should I make contact? Should I try to contact this person? You know, that's what you want to be thinking about at this time. So while I am shuffling these cards, we're going to get one from this deck, one from this deck, and then we're going to get three or four or, or however many I feel like getting, you know, and we're going to have what pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So while I'm shuffling, I want you to pay attention and I also want you to think about this issue, this dilemma, this person that you have a question about. So start thinking what your question is going to be. Um, I want you to relax and picture this person. Picture the good times, you know. Whatever, whatever you need to picture to bring you back to connect with this energy, okay? So should you contact them? Do they want you to contact them? Do they, are, do they love you? I mean, those are some of the questions. Um, dear God, angel, spirits, and universe, please assist us with this reading for whoever is drawn to watch it. We need a card for pile number one. We need a card for pile number two. And a card for pile number three. Do they love me? Will they contact me? Should I contact them? Why is this happening? We're going to get one of the Angel Romance cards as well. Please give us a card for pile number one in regards to this love situation. How do they feel? What should I do? What should I do? number two why I don't understand how do they feel about me what should I do And pile number three. Please help me to understand. Is there any chance for reconciliation? Can this work?
please give us four cards for pile number one. How do they feel about me? Please be clear with your message. Dear Tarot, tell us what we need to know in regards to this love dilemma. I don't know if you guys saw those. We're going to get two more. Please help me to figure out what my next step should be. Pile number two. I need clarification on this. Should I let it go? Should I, should I let this go or should I put in one more chance? What should I do? Is this true love? Are we meant to be? Please give me two more cards for pile number two. Please give me a clear answer. I need to I need to, to deal with this. I need to figure this out. This needs to end. And pile number three. Do they love me? Do they want me? Do they still care? Will I hear from them? Should I communicate? Are we meant to be? Or should I move on? Dear angels, and spirits and God and universe, please give me a clear answer. What 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 is this? What what do I do? What am I gonna do? What how do I handle this? We're gonna get one more card for pile number one and pile number two because this one has one extra card and this one wants to come out. We're gonna put it on pile number two. One more card for pile number one. And there it is. Now, before we break into these cards, I want you to realize that this is not an option to pick two piles. That's not fair. That is you trying to change the outcome. That it doesn't work like that. If you pick two piles, you are not acting with integrity. You are trying to change the outcome to make it fit. To make it, you're, That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get the answer that you want to hear. And that is not the way the tarot cards work. You are being called to pick one pile. One pile at this time. Okay? And this is the answer that you need to hear. Okay? And it may not be the answer that you want to hear. And that's why you don't pick more than one pile. Okay? So at this time, I want you to take a look at these piles. And you heard, you saw the whole thing play out. Which pile is yours? We're going to start with pile number two. How do they feel about you? We have the High Priestess reversed, the Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Strength upright, and the Death card upright. How do they feel? I feel as though they are finding some sort of strength within themselves they're growing they're finding their confidence they're working on their self-esteem they're growing they're growing there was a lack of growth oh I'm, I forgot a card 
Imagine that. Oh, and there is, there's the growth card. Don't you love it when that happens? Growth. It's, they love me. They love you too. They're growing. I told you they were growing. They are. They are going through a period of growth. They're going through a renewal. They're going through a rebirth right now. So if you chose number two, it appears that right now somebody is going through, that the person that you are thinking about is going through a repression. They are with the high priestess. There's a, they're going through a loss of self, which, which is forcing them to grow. You know, they're learning some really tough lessons here. And I feel as though there is an opportunity for a new beginning here, but you will have to be patient. And it feels as though you may be giving up. You're probably giving up on this situation. Maybe it's, it's you feel like it's been taking too long. It's, I've been waiting for too long. I have. And I think you are on the verge of giving up. I'm here to tell you that this, this person is going through some sort of healing. They're going through a renewal. They're going through a rebirth. They're releasing some of their, their old ways, their old tendencies. They are. And they're doing this so that they can be a better person. So I feel as though this person feels about you. I feel this person feels that you are a beautiful person, whether you're a man or a woman. They see that you are beautiful. They see that you are kind-hearted. They see that you are lovable. And they do want a new beginning with you. They do, but right now they are working on themselves. I feel as though you are being called to be patient for even longer, even though you may feel like you're on the verge of giving up. Okay, You may feel like, you know what? I I can't live like this. There's there's too many secrets, me not knowing what's going on. And, and you not knowing what's going on can seem a little hurtful to you. It's like, you know, you're hurting me. And that other person doesn't see it as they're hurting you because they're focusing on them. They're focusing on their own healing and their own renewal and their own rebirth. And, and that's what you should be doing as well. But I feel as though there is an opportunity for a new beginning here as this person that whoever it is that you are thinking about is going through um, a period of releasing. They're releasing their old ways. The th what, what made it so that you guys couldn't work out, okay? You guys didn't work out because something needed to change. And they are going through a major change here. And it is major because we have four majors. Major, 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 major. It's major. Whoever this person is that you are waiting to hear from is going through major internal changes right now. But it's, it's for their own good because they'll, they'll be that much better when they come out on the other side. So this person does see that you are beautiful. They do see that you are abundant and that you are worthy. But they feel as though they, are, they, are, they aren't worthy enough for you. unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and i feel as though you know this is how you, this this is this could be you giving up on the situation you know it's been a long time it is it has it's been a long time and it feels as though now maybe you've decided that it's time maybe you've decided you know i've found my confidence i've found my strength i've done my work and i can't put it into effort into something that i don't feel like anything is ever going to happen so you know if you have plenty of time if you have plenty of time to wait then and you do for a soulmate connection okay as when it's a soulmate connection, you know, it may take a little bit longer as somebody is going on their journey. They're following their script, even if it's not yours, per se. I'll show you the next card. What you want, wants you. Okay, so this unrequited love is you starting to give up. It is. It is. It's like the chemistry is not there because you're not receiving anything from this person. So you're starting to give up. That's what's happening. And I feel as though really you need, to, you need to be patient because I feel like this person, whoever it is that you're thinking about when you chose this number two, they want you. They want you. They do. But you're giving up. So, you know, all I can say is be patient. Your prayers are being heard. They are. I feel as though there is an opportunity for a new beginning here. 
as, as, as soon as somebody gets done working on themselves, there is somebody that is, is gaining strength and courage and confidence and self-esteem along the way. And, the, and it takes time to learn those things. They're regaining their focus. They're finding their own beauty. You know, and that's what you need to be working on right now. Work on your own beauty. Work on your own self-esteem and your self-worth so that when you do come together, that chemistry is, is right back where it needs to be, okay? So I feel like there, what ended this is that you guys, you guys fell apart. You fell apart because the chemistry and the attraction had died. There was probably some pettiness. There was probably some arguments. There was probably some sort of... Um, smothering perhaps or jealousy issues that that caused this to end and I think that that when something happens like that you, it does need to be worked out there's lessons that need to be learned and so I feel like whoever you are asking about does eventually is going to come around they want you to but they're they're they may be waiting for you to change as well for you to go through your rebirth for you to see your self-worth as well because there's a lot of self-worth here and I think it's for both parties I think that both of you are going through a rebirth you're going through a renewal and that you guys will come back together when the time is right so I think that right now you need to really be patient I feel like what you do what you want wants you but you're you're going to have to be strong through this through this waiting period okay you are it does take strength and strength is one of our life lessons so I think that both of you are gaining strength through this struggle and that you both want each other. I think this relationship ended because, you know, you guys fell apart because you didn't see each other's worth. You didn't see each other's beauty. You didn't see each other's attraction. And attraction isn't just on the outside, okay? It comes from the inside as well. So I think that whoever this is for, whoever chose number two, what you want wants you there is an opportunity for a new beginning here after this period of healing has reached its its point but it hasn't reached its point yet it hasn't because somebody is still at this point of repression loss of self they, they still aren't ready to open up okay so that's what i have for option number two i feel like Whoever it is that you're that you're waiting on, you need to be patient because they do want you to. They do. Somebody is going through a period of growth and rebirth. Okay? That's what's happening here. Now we're going to move on to pile number three. The Four of Swords reversed. The Seven of Wands reversed. The Hermit. The Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles. How do they feel about me? They may want one more chance. They may, they may, they may have some doubts, but they may want one more chance. But it feels as though they're stepping back. They're taking a time out to become aware if they do want this chance or not. They are. They're trying to gain their focus. There's somebody that has been ungrateful, and maybe they realize that they, you know, they took you for granted. You know, maybe they realize that. They're starting to realize that they took you for granted. And they may want one more chance. And they may have become aware of how they actually made you, made you put your guard up. They may have, you know, they made you walk on eggshells. I think whoever this person is in number three, how do they feel about you? They're starting to realize. They're starting to realize what they did. They're starting to realize the truth of how they made you feel, how they how they um, made you defensive, how they made you feel empty inside. They're starting to realize that. And they may want another chance to prove that 
eventually, okay, they may want another chance to prove that they don't want to have these conflicts with you. I feel as though The Seven of Wands reversed is they they criticized you. They criticized you too much. And they know it. They realize it. They are aware that whoever this person is in option number three, how do they feel about you? They know that they were too critical or they think that you were too critical. It can go either way. They may think that if somebody was too critical, somebody, somebody um, misjudged another person here. And it feels as though now they, they may want another chance. One more, one more chance. One more chance. But should they communicate with you? Or should or will they communicate with you? I feel like right now they're still in timeout because we have timeout here and we have timeout here. Although this is coming out of it. Okay? Coming out of rest and rejuvenation. So you may hear something from this person. I feel as though... Um, they do realize that there was some sort of um, misjudgment here or, you know, feeling like they, they know that they, they made you uh, defensive. They know that they did this. I feel as though now they, have, they are gaining some sort of new consciousness that is, is allowing them to see what their part was in this, whatever it was. There's, they are starting to realize what they did. But it's how, how far they feel about you. I feel like they, aren't, they haven't given up on you. They haven't given up. But they may... They don't want to be alone either. They don't want to be alone. Whoever this person is, they don't want to be alone. I th If the, you chose option number three, I would say that you should contact this person. Option number two is different. Option number two, they're not ready. Number three, they're ready. They're waiting. Somebody, I think they're waiting. They're waiting for that chance. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Faith in the process. Faith in the process. And this may be what the fights were about. The, the arguments and the fights may have been about the finances, may have been about the money and the career. And now they maybe they, have, they see that the grass isn't greener on the other side and it's really not about the money. It's not about the career. It's about love. But again, there's no love here. There's no love here in, this, in option number three. There's not. So I feel as though you want to know how they feel about you. I think right now you aren't... The, you, This person is more focused on their job. They're not really focused on love. I feel like they, they are aware of what they did. Okay, they are. They're aware of what they did. They are aware of their part in this. But it feels as though they're not focused on love at all. They're focused on their money. They're focused on, on their, their possessions. Okay, I feel as though they, they are a wounded type of person. You know, they're wounded and therefore they're afraid to love whoever this person is. Wh whoever chose option number three, you are dealing with a person who is afraid to love. And and I, and I if you look at all these cards, there's no love in any of these cards. They're afraid to love. So I feel like this person, you know, if you love them and you can, and you can deal with this fact, then I would say that you're going to need to contact them because they're not going to contact you. They may, they may want another chance or they may entertain another chance okay but I don't feel as though they will offer it because I don't feel like they're they're focused on that that's not their main focus if you chose option number three I would say that this probably I wouldn't if it was me if I if I was on the other end and I was watching this reading and I had chose option number three, and these cards came out, and there was no love here, I wouldn't choose this option. I wouldn't. I'd say, you know what? I want love, and there's no love here for option number three. You are dealing with somebody who is very, very, very guarded, okay? Very guarded. Um, if you see, he, very guarded. This person is guarded. So if you want to give them another chance, and you contact them, Hey, they, they might give it another world, but you're still not going to be number one.
because I feel as though number one is is themselves. They they're focused on themselves. Yeah, they don't want to be alone, and that could be you know why if you contact them, fine. Yeah, they don't want to be alone, but they don't want to put a lot of effort into love either. So as far as uh, if you chose option number three, I feel as though you're wasting your time with this one. You know, if you want to go with someone just because you don't want to be alone, then hey, this is could be an option if you're not looking for love. But I feel like this person is really empty on the inside. They're very defensive and their their main focus is their finances and career. This faith in the process, I'm going to look that one up in this book because I'm not really familiar. I know what faith in the process means, but everything happens for a reason. Faith in the process, no matter how powerful we are, how much courage and strength we have, there are times when we can't quite move ourselves to the next phase of life or creative exploration. At such times, we need some divine intervention, a little help in pulling our trolley along, so to speak. When we are at the edge of our own limits and have no more personal resources, we might be left with only one spiritual power, that of faith. Fortunately, that is enough. As unlikely as it may seem, the invisible help from the universe is often more powerful than the physical efforts of a thousand men. That is because the invisible help is not limited by physical laws. It can shift, bend, and move in ways that defy limitation. It can effect, evoke, and influence situations through invisible but undeniably persuasive means. You are in a situation where you, where you cannot set right the course of all, course of events all by yourself. This is not an indication that you have done something wrong, nor, is the, don't, nor does this suggest that you are not strong enough. It's a sign that there is something bigger unfolding in your life. That's what this is. The, number three isn't meant to be. You're being called to move on. This person is not focused on love. So if you chose number three, I don't feel as though they're, they're definitely not going to contact you. And if you contact them, it would probably be, they, they, may, they may take you back, but it wouldn't be for reasons of love. This is happening for a reason. It is. You have something better. You have something better, option number three. Trust, believe it, believe it. And option number one. The tower reversed. The king of pentacles. The four of pentacles. The eight of wands and the emperor. Somebody is trying to avoid a disaster here, trying to keep things stable and secure, seriously. I want things structured, I want things stable, I want things secure and organized. Holding on, resisting change. How does this person feel about me? This person probably wants to hear from you. They want to, they want communication, they do. But they, they don't they don't want they don't want to do it. They don't want to be the ones to communicate. Because they don't want to be let down. So option number one, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could be dealing with an Aries. Somebody in this dynamic is fearing disaster, fear fear fearing being let down but wanting the stability and the security, trying to keep things under control. How does this person feel about you? I feel like this person does want communication with you, but they aren't going to do it because they are stubborn. Stubborn. You are dealing with a stubborn individual here in option number one. Very, very focused on his status as well. Option number one is somebody who's very focused on their status, focused on their job, focused on what society has to think.
very controlling person in option number one. Once again, this person, I feel, does want communication, wants to hear from you, wants you to do the communication, and does want to be a part of a family. Does want to have stability with you, but is too stubborn to communicate. So if you chose option number one, they are the person that you are dealing with is too afraid of being let down to communicate. They want you to make the move. I believe that this person in option number one is still holding on to you as well. They are. They're still thinking about you. That you're you're you are um they're still loyal. They're still loyal to you. Okay? I feel like their heart is still loyal to you. They're still invested in you, but they're still they're 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 too stubborn. They're too stubborn to make that move. You're gonna have to make it. So let's see what else we got here for option number one. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person that you are dealing with, they may have addictions that are allowing them to escape reality. Or this could be you. Somebody, you know, maybe you do. Maybe you do. Somebody has addictions that are, that are affecting or stopping this person from communicating. So as far as option number one goes, if you chose option number one, there is, there is no communication coming because somebody is, is hiding it. They're, they're hiding their, their um, emotions with addictions, even if that's spending money or in their job or, or drugs or whatever. Somebody is burying themselves in everything else to ignore their true loving feelings, okay? The fact of the matter is, I do believe that there is some sort of connection here in option number one that is, is very loyal, um, and they would love to hear communication from you, but they don't, they don't have the, the, uh, balls to do it themselves, okay? Sorry to say that, but receiving, receiving. Yeah, they want to receive. They want to receive the communication. They do. And I believe that you and this other person in option number one, if you chose that, you guys are communicating with each other probably telepathically. You guys are feeling each other. You know, there's a, there's a deep connection here with option number one. This person is ignoring this connection with some sort of addiction for fear of being let down, for fear of, you know, being... Um, rejected perhaps but I feel and so they want to they want to and their status is at at stake here you know they don't they don't want people to to see that they they are, they get rejected or they don't they're worried about what their friends or their family says that's another factor as to why they are not communicating okay if you chose number one now this could be you or the person that you're dealing with whatever somebody is not communicating because of their the, the status they're really worried about what other people think for one thing and um they would love to hear from you they would i think that they would communicate back if you communicate with them you know it's a give and take i mean receiving i just feel like right now they are masking their feelings with some sort of addiction they fear they fear that this may not turn out correctly and they don't want to be the ones to be let down. So if you were the if you wanted to communicate with them, you know, they would probably communicate back. So that's for option number 1. I don't see a lot of love here in any of these polls, 1, 2, or 3 because I feel like a lot of people are in their head at this time. They're trying to make a decision. A lot of people are going through some sort of growth and fears are driving. And, you know, it's, it's really sad because that's what society has done. Society has, has made people believe that they have to live up to these standards and blah, 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 blah. And it's caused a lot of heartache in this world. Anyway, um, for option number one, how does this person truly feel about you? This person does want to hear from you, but they are too stubborn to do so. I feel like they are definitely loyal. They, um, they see you as um, very stable and secure. They do. They see that you're stable, you're secure, but they fear disaster, so they, they won't communicate. They won't. They won't. 
So I feel as though there is an opportunity in option number one um, if you were to contact them. In option number two, it's probably not the right time to contact them because they're, they're going through a renewal, a rebirth. But they definitely, they, there's an opportunity for, in option number two, definitely for, for a new beginning. There is, but it's after a period of healing, a, a, a long-term period of healing, okay? So this doesn't happen overnight in option number two. Somebody is going through a rebirth, they're going through a renewal, okay? And so, the, so that they can heal and be ready to unite when, when, you, when, you're, you know, when the time is right. As far as number three goes, you're dealing with somebody that is not really interested in love. So that's what I have. I know it didn't turn out the way you'd hoped, but it is what it is. Talk to you later.